Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I was going to show you guys how I create uh, filtered hi-hats. Uh, you hear this a lot nowadays in Bryson Tiller type beats, Drake type beats, Party Next Door, Travis Scott, and probably some others that I haven't mentioned. Uh, but uh, long story short, you, you basically uh, want to use two different variant uh, octave hi-hats. Okay, So you have maybe the same sample, but you're playing them in different octaves. As you can see here, I have two hi-hats, one playing in a higher octave and one playing in a lower octave. And I'm going to show you this uh, in detail in a minute. Uh, but Basically, what I was going to show you is, uh, you know, something else to add, and that's sort of a filter effect. It's not really a filter uh, effect VST or anything that you're using. You're just using the EQ uh, to take certain parts of those uh, certain frequencies out and uh, get that sort of feel or that uh, that type of sound that you're looking for. So let's uh, let's see what we got here. We got a uh, three loops that I'd used out of out of the uh, vocals kit from Frequency.com, and uh, these will be available sometime in June and uh, you could definitely pick those up uh, and then for the drums I used a kick, a snare, uh, two snares actually uh, then that first hi-hat and uh, second hi-hat that we were talking about earlier so um, I will be giving you the uh, drum sounds that means the wave files for these drums as well as the MIDI form so you could actually just import them into your DAW and play around with it yourself so anyway um, let's get started I'm just gonna let you listen to the uh, the sample first and then we'll go into the drums You gotta pluck a lead and uh, some vocals here. You're gonna loop that section off. So you can hear already, I have the um, the hi-hats playing in a higher octave and in a lower octave. I'm using the same sample for each of these hi-hats, but again, I'm just playing them in uh, higher and lower octaves, okay? So you can see here that first one was C3, and the second one is down here somewhere below C2. Um, so that, you know, that variation in the hi-hat definitely uh, gives it sort of that new school type feel. A second thing that I like to do to them too is to uh, just gives it that extra something, you know what I mean? Um, is actually add an EQ and then uh, just take some of the the highs out. I'm going to turn on my analyzer so I can um, you know see exactly where this uh, frequency comes in. And uh, let's loop off a uh, four bar section and just listen to that real quick. So as you can see here, that sounds a little bit different, right? We took some of those highs out. I'm going to go back to the EQ really quick and uh, turn off what I did. That's what it sounded like before. This is what it sounds like now. All right, that, that adds to that uh, new school effect. And then I like doing the same thing here on the second hi-hat. Like I said before, I'm going to give you the MIDI of this. Uh, these hi-hats, these drums in general, so that you can uh, just import it and see exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, so let's turn on our analyzer here too. Turn on that low frequency cut. I'm going to just cut some more out of it. Maybe raise that level just at the like 3 to 4, yeah, 3000 range here. This is with it and without it. All right, let's listen to that with the drums and the sample. So anyway, this is just a short video to show you how you can, uh, you know, 
uh, make variations in your hi-hats, use filtered hi-hats and whatnot. Uh, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Put it in the comments section. I'm out for now. My name's CJ. Peace.